Welcome to Procedure Flow's Art of the Flow series. This short video explains how to use connectors in Procedure Flow. Once you've added new shapes onto the editing canvas, connector arrows are used to join them together. A common convention when mapping is to add all your shapes to the editing canvas first, then connect the shapes once they're in place, as it can save time to add all your arrows at once. As you can see here, we have mapped all the steps in this process, and the last step is to connect them all together. To start, click the connector button. In connector mode, small circles appear around the shapes to indicate possible connection points. Click and drag the crosshairs between the two shapes you want to connect. As a tip, you'll know the arrow is connected when the connector point changes to a green circle when the crosshairs are hovered over them. Once your shapes are connected, they will stay connected even if you move the shape. Sometimes you'll want to bend a connector. To do this, first connect the two shapes. Then, click the green dot that appears in the middle of the arrow and drag it to the desired angle. New green dots will then appear on each segment of the connector. If you want to bend it a second time, click one of the new green dots and drag it to the desired angle again. Sometimes the connectors must be labeled, like after a decision diamond. To label an arrow, double click on it. The Edit Connector dialog box appears. Type the desired label into the text box and click Update. There are also times when a dashed connector is preferred, like when a screenshot or backstory is added to the flow as a reference to help with context. To change the arrow to a dashed line, simply double click the arrow to display the Edit Connector box. Then select Dashed as the arrow type and click Update. To remove a connector, Simply click on it to select it and hit the delete key on your keyboard, or you can right click and select delete. To disconnect an arrow, click on the arrow to select it. Then click the purple circle on the end that you want to disconnect and drag it away from the connection point. In the same manner, the end of the arrow can now be reconnected to a different connector point when you're ready. This part can be done when using either the pointer or the connector function. Check how easy it is to connect everything together once I've finished adding all the shapes to the canvas. Once you've finished adding arrows and connecting your shapes, click the pointer arrow button to continue editing. That's it! Now you can connect all the shapes on the flows that you create. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos in the Art of the Flow series.